Hello everybody and welcome to this video where today we'll be looking at how you can scratch build masts for your 1 to 700 scale warships. Although the masts in the kits tend to have a lot of detail, they, they're quite flexible so if you're planning on rigging the ship, replacing the kit mast with one made out of brass is a good idea. The easiest way to go about this is to simply copy the mast from the kit. So obviously you need to start by removing the parts from the sprue, being careful not to bend or break anything. Once all the parts are ready and cleaned up good enough, we can start measuring our pieces and obviously the trick here is to measure once and cut twice or was it the other way around? For the main legs of the tripods I use 0.6mm silver nickel rods which is measured to the correct size and cut and for the, all the other parts like yard arms, crossbars, those sorts of things I use either 0.2 or 0.3mm brass rods and you'll see that coming up later on. To make sure that the mast stays straight up and are symmetrical, it's important to make sure that all the parts are of equal length and the correct length and that you make sure that all the angles and all the lengths are in order. So simply matching the metal legs with the plastic legs and making sure that they're of equal distance, wherever the metal parts meet will be the correct angle. One excellent trick is using black superglue. It's a lot easier to see where you're, you're applying it, but also how much you're using. So it's easy to avoid everything turning into a big mess of metal parts and super glue. And here you can see me using the kit parts as a guide to where to put the different cross members and other parts of the new crane. New mast. The ship I'm building is HMS Dido in May 1945, but the kit is Flyhawk's HMS Nade from 1940. And to make everything as close to reality as possible, having good photo references for your build is quite important. I was lucky enough to find quite a lot of pictures on the websites for the Danish National Museum. The link is in the description, so check those out. Uh, there's a lot of good history there.
Although fiddly, probably the best tool for alignment would be the Mark 1 human eyeball or the Mark 1 mod 1 if you're using glasses. Here I'm working on the supports for the Type 271 Naval Sea Search Radar. I start off a little bit big, but after cutting them down to the correct size, it's time to put in the actual radar antenna. The radar itself is a aftermarket item that I can't remember where I got it from, but Search the internet, you'll find it. Also quite challenging was the Type 281 radar system, consisting of two separate antennas, the transmitting antenna on the foremast and the receiving radio antenna on the mainmast. And together these acted as an early warning radar. And the prototype for this was actually installed on HMS Taido in 1940. It goes without saying that these parts are very fragile, so I won't be mounting them quite yet. I'll probably wait with installing these until the very end, until after the ship has been rigged. Otherwise, I'll probably just knock them over and bend them out of shape. So that's it for this video. I hope you feel inspired to try and do something similar for your next build and possibly also rig your ship. I haven't done any painting work yet other than primer, that will have to wait for the next video where we'll be looking at the full build of the kit and the war history of HMS Taido. So thank you for watching, I'll see you again soon, take care, goodbye.